Hey yo, what is up guys, it's Sam, back on the channel, listen, hey, today's video um, is actually going to be a very, very, very good video, um, I'm actually hyped to make this video because it's, I've got a, sort of a long story that covers, well, I'm gonna, it's a long story that I'm going to compact into around 5 minutes maybe, maybe even less, who knows, when try and make a short one, but a very, very insightful and exciting video for everyone, actually, boys and girls, today we have the video on how to stop procrastinating. Um, now, first of all, the story actually covers over sort of like a few months. Um, it was a skill that I was trying to get better at over the course of these few months that I actually ended up becoming a fucking master of. Um, and I wasn't scared of this skill at all. And I'm basically going to tell you how I actually progressed to the point where I was no longer scared and never procrastinated on this skill at one time in my life. No, I'm nowhere near as good as I used to be um, because it's not a skill that I have been practicing regularly. Uh, something I'm actually, I wouldn't say I'm terrified of now. I could definitely do it. But it's one of those ones where I procrastinate heavily on today. But previously, when I was 17, uh, I am 19 now, but when I was 17, this was a skill that I would not even think twice on procrastinating on. It was something that was just, it came like that. It was natural. Um, but yeah, this this skill was actually cold approaching, and more importantly, cold approaching girls um, to actually, you know, eventually end up going on a date with them, or just getting a number from them, or getting a conversation. Um, but more importantly, just cold approaching people in general. Um, but yeah, obviously, specifically, I was I was trying to get better at speaking to girls and cold approaching, and I got amazing at it over over one sort of summer. Um, I, in fact, it might have been just no, you know, it it was it was like summertime. Um, I was amazing at it, and I was I was really having a fun. I was really having fun with it, and it's actually how I met the girl that I'm dating now, and I have been dating for sort of you know almost two years, just from you know sparking up a conversation and being a lot more natural and a lot more fluid um, with the way that you speak to people. But you can't really get that unless you do get out there and practice the skill. So rule number one, before I even get onto the story time, listen, you can't have the story time yet, guys. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. But you can't have that until I first explain rule number one of Fight Club, which is you must first understand that, yes, you have an ego. Yes, you think you're good at all these different things. You think you might be well-rounded. Bitch, you're not well-rounded until you've been on the Wellerman channel, okay? So you might you might think you're good and you might think you're, you know, you have some skill. You have some skills. You know. You might think you, you probably have some some aspects of game. Listen, if you have game, then why don't you have all the bitches? That's my question to you, my friend. Because if you actually have all the game, and you know, you might think you're a, you're somewhat of a player. Why do you not have ten bitches sat on top of your Lamborghini right now? Oh, it's because I don't want. Of course, you want that. I'm sorry, but that's pretty much what everyone man, every man wants. And listen, if you do, if you don't want ten bitches. Laid naked across a Lamborghini, and you're a man. Are you really a man, though? Because I don't think you are. Um, I know it's a bit of an extravagant um, sort of dream, but every man would not turn that down. So um, you're saying you might be somewhat of a player, or you might have a little bit of game. If you even had a little bit of game, you would be using it right now because that shit is fun. Now, I mean, that's kind of a uh, hypocritical one because right now, you know, I'm in a relationship. I don't really, um, I don't really get to use game like that very much, but I know that it's inside me. I just need to um, need to practice cold approaching people more because it is fun. It's good to spark up natural conversations and um, just be a lot more of a, a lot more of a natural person in general and a lot more of a high vibrational person just by speaking to lots of people and um, you know getting to know strangers and just realizing we're all human. And uh, we all live on the surf together, and it's just nice to speak to people and enjoy other people's company. But yeah, so rule number one, realize that you have an ego and actually do some research and watch some videos on whatever that skill is that you are trying to get better at and stop procrastinating on. Because I'm, this is where the story time actually starts, guys. I, w I was in college, my second year in college, uh, coming to an end of the second year. Uh, because I wasn't turning up to the classes that I was meant to be going to, and I was just kind of like bumming around, but at the same time enjoying myself with the friends that I had. But I remember there was one girl 
Um, uh, and I, 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 I really liked her. And she was like kind of a friend of like a sort of distant friend that I had. Uh, who I didn't really speak to like that. But I remember I, back then I was really into like flips and stuff. So I remember I was, I was outside chilling with a couple of my friends. And the, the distant friend that I had, the girl that I kind of liked, that I'd only just seen on this day, and one of the other friends who I don't remember who it was, um, I think I was actually stood on one of the tables outside about to do a flip. Uh, and they didn't know that I could flip or anything. They didn't know I was about to flip. But they all started shouting, do a flip, do a flip, like as a joke. So I thought, you know what, let me just flex a little bit. So I did a, I obviously did a, did a side flip off the table. But they were all shocked because they were like, yo, like, we was only joking. But, you know, you could actually do flips. But I didn't really speak to them like that at all. Um, but I remember seeing this girl around college. I was like, damn. Like, she wasn't really, like, she wasn't my type or anything. But I just thought, you know what, like, I kind of like her. And it wasn't a thing where I was, like, majorly, I wasn't even majorly attracted to this girl. It was just the thing where it was, like, I liked her, but then I started to like her a lot more when I realised, hold on a minute, okay, I've, I find this girl somewhat attractive, why have I not approached her yet? And for weeks and weeks, that played in my mind, and I remembered having conversations about it with my dad and with my friends, and I was I just kept think, I kept saying and thinking, I was like, why, like, hold on a minute, this girl is attractive, but she's not, like, majorly my type, and I'm not hugely attracted to her. But I find and I think she's nice and I wanted to approach her. And I wanted to at least speak to her and tell her that I like her. But I didn't know how. And it bugged me for weeks. Until one day, somehow we accidentally got into a conversation. After I actually before I even spoke to her, before I even said anything, because because this bugged me so much and I realised at the time because I was meditating and I was a fucking master and sensei of understanding my emotions and my thoughts because I watched them day in, day out. And because all, the only thing I did at that time was college training and a bit of parkour, and I think a bit of kickboxing as well. I had plenty of time on my hands to just basically meditate and get in nature. So I was amazing at, I was amazing at understanding myself at that time. So I understood that I had this problem, um, and I understood that it bugged me. So I didn't put it off. I actually watched some cold approaching videos, and actually, I actually you know, did a bit of research on how the best ways are to call approach, you know, what you should be doing, uh, what you should be saying, how to message girls. Um, and I just, I, I, you know, I put my ego to the side for a second, as much as I thought I was good at call approaching. Clearly I wasn't because I, I, I was scared to do this and I was scared to approach this girl. So I put my ego to the side for a second. I researched, I watched some videos um, and it helped me to understand that, look, you thought you had game, but that was a shame because your mind clearly was not to its full potential and fully tame or tamed but anyway I, I don't know why i'm being a poet um but yeah so i eventually I eventually came to a point after i watched a few videos and a few weeks down the line of me being bugged about this problem about about not being able to approach a girl um we accidentally got into a conversation um, and I remember, I remember asking for a name and, you know, saying I thought she was cute and all this and that. Like, basically trying to spit some stupid game that just didn't work. Uh, but I, she actually told me, she was like, oh, I have a boyfriend, we can be friends though. So then I was like, ah, oh, something like that. So I don't, I don't remember exactly what I said. But what I do remember is that after asking, I felt fucking amazing. I felt on top of the moon. I was like, yes, I finally conquered that mountain. I finally got over it. And actually asked her, you know, if she would, you know, consider going out with me or something like that. I can't remember exactly what I said, but, you know, like I said, I was just extremely happy that I conquered that fear and got it over and done with. But from there, that was around the time when I first started making YouTube videos again. So if you go, if you guys go back to the first video that's on the channel right now, um, I think it's titled I'm Back, um, when I had sort of like long curly hair. Uh, that was not longer, uh, that was actually around, in fact no, that was around the time when I started making my videos again, um, probably just before I started making those videos was when I actually, you know, sort of asked that girl out, uh, and got rejected, but it was the fucking most amazing feeling ever, so after that I kind of, 
started wanting to, wanting to progress this skill a little bit more. But around this time, I was taking a lot of cold showers. Uh, I was meditating, and yeah, it was it was it was amazing. It was like um, you know, I was I was really I had a really good mindset, um, really confident within myself, and the cold showers were helping massively. Uh, because the psychology that you have to use when you're in cold showers is kind of like you're throwing yourself into this really uncomfortable situation. But because you have to have, because you don't want to be dirty and you want to have a shower, you kind of have to get comfortable with being uncomfortable. Um, so this is basically rule number two of, you know, stop stopping procrastination is taking cold showers. So rule number one is putting your ego to the side, actually researching how to get better at this skill that you think you might have some kind of knowledge in, but really, you know, you, you want to stop procrastinating on that skill. So you want to watch more videos on it and how to actually stop the procrastination. Um, just like this video now where I'm teaching you how to stop procrastinating. Uh, so this will be a perfect, this will be a perfect video to help that journey of stopping procrastinating that skill. So that was rule number, rule number one, do some research and watch some videos and put your ego to the side. Rule number two is take cold showers because cold showers will actually help procrastination massively. Um, and this is what's actually helped me to grow my YouTube channel because, you know, when I was taking so many cold showers and meditating all the time and obviously I started this YouTube channel up again, I remember um, I actually started going around asking people to subscribe. It started off with me literally just being in a class and asking all the class to subscribe as a joke and then after i went around the whole fucking college and asked the whole college to subscribe and that was how i got so many subscribers and then one day i think the next weekend i went around and i asked oh, i think i got 100 subscribers in one day and you guys can go and watch this video back down on my channel it's called um what it feels like to be high or something like that i got 100 subscribers in a day just from i want i think one day i went out to go and train parkour and I ended up just asking random people to subscribe. And in that day, I was cold approaching girls as well. I was asking girls out on dates. I was just being cheeky as fuck, approaching groups. Like, I was not scared at all. Like, I was completely fucking happy with approaching anyone and asking any anyone any questions and fucking, you know, basically, like, saying anything to anyone. And it was the most amazing feeling ever. And it all just came from progressing the skill slowly, taking cold showers and making that first cold approach on a girl just through putting my ego to the side and actually researching and watching some videos on it. But the the story was amazing. That story went on over the course of a few months. But it basically got to a point where most of my public videos are private, but I made a lot of public videos in the past doing some crazy shit that I never ever thought in my entire life I would ever be speaking to people about or, you know, when I was a shy kid back in school, I never ever thought I'd be able to go up to random people on the street, especially like attractive girls and fucking like big groups of people and just ask them random questions and just like say funny shit. Like I was even considering about, I was even as stupid as it, it may sound, like I used to do a lot of public speeches and stuff as well as doing doing these like crazy public videos at one point i was even considering becoming a comedian and doing like stand-up like that's how much I, I enjoyed the feeling of being comfortable with being uncomfortable it was such an amazing high and it all came from just being scared to ask a girl out and just putting my ego to the side of me like look you're bad at this skill you need to improve on it let's research and watch some videos and learn how to stop procrastinating on approaching this girl and then I just progressed that skill from there, and shit. When I when I was at the peak of it, I was fucking approaching like groups of girls and saying, "Let me get all your Snapchats, fucking all this different stupid shit." But yeah, guys, that was basically a video on just how to stop progressing it. And you know, rule number one, like I said, put your ego to the side, research what videos on how to stop procrastinating on this one thing you want to sort of get done. Rule number two: take cold showers, man, because I was taking a lot of cold showers at that time. And that's what basically helped me be comfortable with being uncomfortable. And it actually became a high for me that I really fucking enjoyed. But anyway, guys, long ass video, but it was needed. Peace out.